Good news, my lord. By reversing the A-Virus and bringing the upper-level demons under our control, we gained the support of most demons. The only thing that stands in our way now are the demons of the Corruptament. We were able to reverse the A-Virus and bring the upper-level demons in line because of my blood, right? It's not like you didn't take advantage of the infected demons to make a ton of money, you patronizing bitch. Anyway, we can finally deliver the beating to the Corruptoman that they rightfully deserve. Upon successfully usurping the regime, I will bring Hades to the netherworld and teach everyone a lesson or two. <laughs> so, I'm just a step away from taking the office of the president. This nightmare must be coming to an end. <gasps> is Desco close to becoming the final boss? Desco is so excited! <laughs> and you're here to collect some money, right? How much are you trying to collect, Volcanus? I only need a little more to reach my goal. Once I go and collect from Fort Knockers, my goal will be met. <laughs> Fort Knockers, you say? So you're going to follow us to our destination again? What an annoying angel. Oh, please, it's just a coincidence. Why don't you change your destination if you're so upset about it, Mr. Werewolf? Watch your mouth, thief angel. I'm not going to change anything for you. You two! Stop running your mouths back there! We're not going on a picnic here! What's the matter, Rascal? Tense before our big battle? Or is it a calcium deficiency? In either event, eating sardines will fix everything! You can't fight on an empty stomach, right? Ugh! I don't give a crap about sardines! I told you! I hate fish! Plus, this isn't the time to be making jokes! Do you know how many soldiers are stationed at the executive office? Ah, I know there used to be about a million of them. A million? The population density must be... really dense. They've cut down on that number due to decreased funding, but I assume there are still at least half a million there. So, so you do know! That's right! There's a gigantic army of 600,000 soldiers! Although they downsized by 40% from the height of their manpower, the army still consists of the most powerful demons! Ten million mid-level demons don't even stand a chance against them! I know this is just a dream, but not even I think we could beat 600,000 enemies. Oh, but I'm sure we must have some kind of plan for a situation like this, right? Go Fen Fen, the baddest man in the party! <laughs> Don't flatter me so much. Of course I have a plan. And that plan is... It is... What? An assassination. To defeat a large army with only a few troops, we sneak in close and then eliminate the leader as quickly as possible. That is the only way we will be able to defeat an army of 600,000 soldiers. That is not an option, Fenric. Even if we did topple the Corruptiment, no one will approve of our leadership if we cheat like that. Unless we suppress the Corruptiment and the President with our power, fair and square, the Netherworld will never agree to obey us. So, you want a straight up fight against every single one of those 600,000 soldiers? Do you really think that- Rascal, tell me, what did you come here for? Well, to become a great demon who is strong enough to be worthy of being the president's son! Then wouldn't this be your best opportunity to show off how much you've grown? How much I've grown? D do you really think I have? <laughs> you may still have a long way ahead of you if you seriously have to ask. We're only talking about 600,000 soldiers. That means each of us only has to handle 100,000, right, Desco? a reasonable expectation for a final boss, each of us must withstand a hundred thousand soldiers! Desco is a battle vixen! One hundred thousand each? It sounds like you've included me in your calculations. Uh, I, actually no, I, I didn't mean... I, I was counting the prinnies. Emisel, you're a boy, right? You'll never get a better 
better chance to rub in your dad's face what you've become since he abandoned you. 600,000 isn't that much when you compare it to the population of Tokyo. I'm gonna do it to become the president. Shit, fine, I'll do it. I'll show him how much Sir Death the Measle has grown. <laughs> it's been a while since you last called yourself that. Well, do your best not to get in the way of our Lord's path to the throne. Good, it looks like we're ready. We're heading to the executive office of the president, where 600,000 enemies await us. They are the perfect opponent. Everyone, it's time. And finally, the presidential eve election was about to take place. This was the true final battle, where losing meant death for the challenger, Valva Torres. Final episode, battle. Tyrant versus President! You patronizing bitch! Oh, Fenric. You never cease to impress me. He's the patronizing one, really. <laughs> but he says it so callously and... You know, seriously, it's really impressive. All right, time to storm the White House. Of course, if it's the Netherworld president, is, is it the Black House? Ooh, a legendary prelude. <laughs> I'm going to level the shit out of that. I mean, what are the odds of finding a legendary item out in the, in the hub world? That's quite nice. All right, this episode is a long one. Every time I think I'm about to fight the president, there's another fight before it. In fact, I think they comment on that. Just like how ludicrous it becomes. A little Desco save icon. The Rebel Invasion! The Blight House. Only the highest level demons who possess the strength of final bosses are permitted to live in the core of the Netherworld. It represents the epitome of violence, where weaklings wouldn't even be allowed to come pick up the trash. The Netherworld president himself stands atop this place. So this is the Blight House, where the terror that maintains order in the human world is developed. Huh? different than Hades. This place is, like, on a totally different level. Well, duh! Only the highest level demons who have mastered the extremes of violence get to live here. After taking this place down, the president's office will belong to Big Sis. Desco will do her best. Well, my lord, we shall now open the gates to the end of the netherworld and begin our reform. <clears throat> Torres. I have come from the depths of Hades to beat some sense back into this rotten netherworld. Our mission is to usurp the regime. I don't expect you to give in very easily. Go ahead and resist all you want. I shall pin each and every one of you down and teach you a lesson the Hades way. Now, tremble in fear! Oh, well, they're rather obedient, aren't they? really are trembling. This is more than just trembling. This is like... Desco senses a tremendous amount of murderous intent. The rumbling is coming from the ground. It's the echo of the violence across the land. The destructive footsteps of 600,000 demons! As expected of Corruptiment soldiers, their morale seems to have risen instead of falling in fear from hearing our Lord's name. Huh. At least they're motivated. I thought I was prepared for this, but seeing all this in front of me, it's more intense than I expected. I know 
this is just a dream, but I'm getting kind of scared. It won't be funny if I wet the bed at my age. I need to be careful. Big Sis, that's not what you should be worried about right now. What the? <laughs> right on time. Pretty rule number six. You shall never make your master wait. You barely made it. Sorry to make you wait, dude. In answer to Lord Volatoris' call, many brave souls have gathered here, dude. About 20 million plebeian demons. About 5 million bourgeois demons. About 1.3 million black blood demons. And then us, about 100 million prinnies. We're all here to support you, dude. I know I'm in no position to say this, but leave these peons to us and go defeat the president, dude! You guys... Are you sure that's an accurate headcount? Not at all, sir! I was kind of exaggerating, dude. Nevertheless, you seem to have an amazing amount of supporters here. This was bound to happen for an eminent leader, but... This isn't necessary. Using numbers against numbers, this is like war. You shouldn't chastise them, my lord. They have all gathered here with the dream of taking over the Corruptiment with you. Huh. Then let's hurry so that we can end this madness! We have no reason to be scared, now that we've got the same amount of force on our side. I think we've got this! Let's go, everyone! Our only target is the Netherworld President! Don't even think about those other peons! Thus began the 62nd Netherworld Presidential Eve Election. In the Netherworld, power is justice. That is the one and only rule that must be followed. Are you sure that's an accurate headcount? Not at all, dude! Spins. Oh, those prinnies. Alright. Ooh, legendary items. So, once again, this, uh... level could be problematic. If you wait too long, the red panels will expand and pretty much the whole area will become enemy boost plus 50%. I can't be having that, so, like usual, right. I'm going to circumvent that issue and just, oh yeah, I reincarnated my magic knight. Now she's a rune knight. No, a dark knight. Damn it. Um, yeah, so I'm just, I'm just gonna make a tower and throw him over there. You know, eliminate the challenge right away. No need to handicap myself if it's not necessary. But it seems we have quite a few monsters here that I haven't gone into yet. Brace yourself. We got Nekomadas, we got Succubi, we got Bouncers, and we got Death. Here I go. What to do, what to do, what to do. Here I, come. Ready? I think it's about time we went over one of the alluring monster classes. Succubus or Nekomata? Which one? Pretends to flip imaginary coin. And. Succubus! Woohoo! Okay. Where is that page? Ah, the succubus. Alrighty. Let's see, succubi are masters of depravity. Almost all their attacks have the potential to land this nasty ailment on enemies. That's wonderful for fighting bosses and other high-end monsters. Succubi are at their weakest when going after groups of foes because they have few options for massive area of effect damage. If, you, if your team has several ailment specialists, order someone to attack with a sleep skill and then follow up with your succubus. 
Dream Hunt is a mean ability because there is already a boost to damage against sleeping targets. Doubling up on that makes for a heavy shot, especially if you can get, get to drop the Prave and lower the target's stats against further assaults. So yeah, um... The Succubus is one of those, uh, debilitative, uh, classes that can, you know, do a lot of... It, it, this is actually a very balanced mo monster class. It doesn't excel in any po one particular area. Um, its magic change type is a sword. It can move four spaces, and the neat thing is it actually has... It actually has an attack like a bow. It, it's... It sends a bat, and it, it can attack four spaces away with its standard attack. That's pretty neat. Uh, it's 50% resistant to fire, neutral to wind, and 25% resistant to ice. So that's pretty nice. Rest in peace. Um, let's see. She can learn fire magic up to Giga. Uh, healing magic up to Giga. As well as charm and slumber, which cause deprave and sleep. So she's uh, pretty balanced because she has uh, pretty much even attack and intelligence stats. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the Empusa, the first level. Oh, I love it. Um, let's see. HP 80, SP 110, attack 110, defense 100, intelligence 110. Resistance 110, hit 100, and speed 90. She's pretty much um, average in everything, which is, which is nice. So she can attack physically or magically to suit your needs, which is handy. Then we have the Lilum, the Succubus, the Carmilla, the Hecate, or the Hecate. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, and the Lilith. I think the Lilith looks awesome. It's got this, like, light blue hair. And, let's see, aptitudes are HP 90, SP 135, Attack 135, Defense 125, Intelligence 135, Resistance 135, Hit 125, and Speed 115. A very balanced class, not excelling in any particular category. But the other handy thing is, they count as a flying type, so they can move right through enemy units if necessary. Uh, it's a very versatile class. Um, I, I, I like it. Uh, although there, some of the weakness does come from its um, normal skills, because most of them only hit single enemy, single targets, as opposed to multiple enemies, which is usually troublesome. Uh, let's so you'd have to level up your magic like fire or other magic to hit multiple enemies uh, Her first attack body change has a power of E um, All of her attacks are based on her intelligence stat by the way, so uh, You should probably focus more on intelligence than attack although you know a standard attack is still handy because uh, There are some abilities that are based off her normal attack. Now. Well, let's see um, Actually I should go over the abilities first. I still don't have a set structure for this, believe it or not, by this point. Alright, her base ability is Sexy Aura, which lowers the stats of adjacent male enemies by 20%. Um, handy if it's a particularly tough enemy, but um, she has so many ranged attacks, um, and her movement is not is only average. I almost always forget to implement this ability, unfortunately. Uh, her next one is Temptation, which gives a 50% chance to add Deprave to normal attacks. Uh, that's handy, especially since she can attack four attacks away, uh, four spaces away. So, um, you know, and a 50% chance is pretty nice. So I think that's a very useful ability. And we can equip one more because she's a monster. Uh, Dream Hunt adds 100% damage against sleeping targets. So if it's a tough enemy. Um, you can put them to sleep the first turn, they won't be able to retaliate at all, and then the next turn, you will do double damage. And you can even be the first one in a combo. Because I think her normal attacks also have a chance to lower defense, like an axe would. Very interesting. And then finally, Pretty Motion. Decreases damage taken from males by 50%. Um, anything, again, that decreases damage by 50% is handy. 
and this also counts for monsters, by the way. Any monster that isn't a succubus, a werecat, yes, yeah, Nekomata, a slumber cat, or the flower beast counts as a male monster. So that's the majority of them. So that's actually not a bad ability to have. Ready for me now? All right. Anyway, as for her attacks, body change. Uh, it can hit three tiles away in a straight line. Powers E. It's a basic skill. I'll do my best. Uh, her next one is Pink Illusion. It hits two spaces away. Not one space away, two every time. It can cause Deprave, and the power is D. Uh, slightly better than than the first one, Body Change. Uh, then we have Raging Dromi. Power is B, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, it can hit four spaces away and cause Deprave. This will probably be your single target attack of choice due to the range and power. And then finally, we have Twin Attribute. It's uh, three uh, squares in a row that can go four spaces away, and you can switch it, so it can hit vertical or horizontal. Um, bas it's basically the multiple version of Raging Dromi, you know, also based on intelligence. Uh, just use this when there's more than one enemy in the area. Uh, she magic changes into a sword, and her first attack is Delusions, which hits two enemies in a straight in a straight line right in front of you. The power is E, um, and while it's weak, it can cause the crave. It's hysterical. I, I, it's one of my favorite moves. Um, also based on your intelligence stat, by the way. So, um, you know, she might be a sword, but. You're probably going to be doing a lot less damage with this if you quit the Devalvatoris since his attack is bound to be better than his intelligence stat. Could be useful on a Magic Knight though if you're having them learn both Sword and Magic. And then finally Judgment Sword which hits in a... a cross directly in front of you. Very cool attack. I like the magic change attacks for the Succubus. So, um... That's pretty much it for that class. Very well-rounded, very versatile. Um, it doesn't excel in any particular area, but plenty of utility uh, and some really cool magic change attacks. Although you need to equip them to an intelligence-based unit. Uh, I think they're pretty cool. Their attacks could be a bit more, could use some more area of effect. But um, if you just pick the class for the aesthetic appeal, which I know many of you perverts do, um, I don't part I don't entirely blame you, uh, because it's still a good class. God, he's weak. All right, so I'm trying to break open all these rare, tr legendary treasure chests before. Um, I kill those Nekomatas. Although, actually, that's the Pow Meow. Pow Meow class. Pow Meow, yeah. It's probably Chinese. Now remember, the reason I do the fire charge on her is because... While well, it increases her resistance, it also increases her damage with that spell for three turns. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> this is barely gonna hurt them. He's not that strong. Yet. Oh. Not to mention they counter special attacks. Oh, you filthy cats. You know, I know in Jap so many units in this game say, I'm coming. As I know they're saying, like, Kuryo is like, Kuryo is like, you're like, here. You know, we don't really say that in America. We say, like, here we go. So, you know, it just sounds weird. It's like, I'm coming. I'm like, and? What about it? 
Just a little cultural difference. Oh, rat. Ugh. Damn it, Fenric. Damn it, Fen Fen. There's only one enemy left to fight if she gets into a counter war with anybody. A legendary experience potion. Up, oh, she's dead. Or not. I guess they already used up he already used up his counters. Uh, you know it's bad when you can't even open a Texas revolver. Legendary. And a laser gun. I don't know which one's better. Alright, I've had enough of you. No trunk is a snap. How did I know he'd That's the end of that chapter. Huh? That was easier than I thought. I didn't know how tough they would be, just judging by how scared Emisa was. They totally weren't worth it. This just goes to show how close we are to the president's office. <laughs> Desko is climbing the ladder to the position of final boss very quickly. Desko is almost there, big sis. Once Desko becomes a final boss... Don't flatter yourselves, fools. Those were just peons. They're ants compared to father. Oh? That sounded like you were bragging about your father. Uh, no. That's not what I meant. What do you make of this, Fenric? They weren't peons. They were the President's elite forces. Indeed. However, they were much too weak. But how can that be? They didn't look like they were going easy on us. Is the condition of the Netherworld really so dire? 